And all but one of the 34 victims in the dive boat disaster have been recovered. Meantime, investigators are turning to the Conception's sister ship to learn more about why no one below the deck was able to escape the fire. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live in Santa Barbara with an update for us on this story. Candace, good morning. Good morning to you, and we're hoping to learn those details at a news conference later today. The NTSB is holding. Meantime, family and friends and even perfect strangers have been stopping by this growing memorial, leaving notes, flowers, and pictures of the victims as everyone desperately waits for answers. We have some video of the FBI dive team. They've been assisting local authorities in the recovery process. Yesterday, crews brought in parts of the Conception to the command center here at the harbor to examine it and take pictures and to learn what caused the boat to catch fire. Much of it, though, remains upside down on the ocean floor. 33 bodies have been recovered, but one remains missing. The victims were likely all asleep in their bunks when the vessel caught fire. Five crew members, though, including the captain, were above deck and able to jump off the boat. Uh, they've, many of them have been interviewed by the NTSB and are cooperating in the investigation. The former captain of Conception says he doesn't want people to jump to conclusions. We don't have all the facts or that's my message is I want the people to, to know the facts, and we don't know all of them at this point. And there's a couple of vigils that we want to tell you about honoring the victims. Tonight at 6, Hilda Bay's Aquarium, it'll be there under the Santa Monica Pier. And then at 7 o'clock, the Deep Blue Scuba Center in Long Beach will host a candlelight vigil honoring the victims. Live in Santa Barbara, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News this morning.